Hi YouTube, thanks for coming back to my channel. I have watched my first three videos that I filmed. I kind of filmed them all kind of together and then edited them. And while editing them and kind of watching myself back, I noticed that I like to say, um, um, watching them, I just did it, uh, watching them, I decided that that could be a wonderful drinking game, especially if you watch this on like a Friday or, or those videos on a Friday or Saturday night that, I mean, you're going to get quite a little buzz, probably trashed because I said, um, so many times. So if you have come back and you watched those first and now you're back. Thank you so much for, you know, dealing with that and being back here. I promise to try my hardest to avoid um. I didn't realize that it was such a thing that I did. I didn't realize that my probably nervous word is um as I'm talking. Uh, so I just did it again. So I will work on it. I will not point it out every time I do it either, but I will try to not do it. And if I find that I've done it a lot when I'm editing, I'm going to work on my editing skills and cutting them out. So that's that piece. Also, I noticed that my words were flipped when I was showing things to the camera and that it is not a hard fix to fix that mirror look. Uh, so yeah, that'll get fixed too. So just new YouTuber problems, I guess. Uh, so I'm back today and I have a Dollar Tree haul and I have a lot of stuff in front of me. I'm going to try to get through it all. If I notice that my video is just getting extremely long, I will cut it short and probably turn it into a couple different videos because I just have so much I'm excited to show. And so I want to get it all out there. And especially now because it's stuff that's in season. So right now in front of me, I have summer decor, which includes flamingos and pineapples. And if you watched any of my previous stuff, I have talked about my love of flamingos, pineapples, palm trees, all the tropical things, which gets me so excited for the summer season because that's when it's all out. I have patriotic items and uh, that covers for Memorial Day and 4th of July. And I'll kind of let you guys know why I want to hurry up and get those shown because I have some plans uh, for those. And then just some other kind of this and that that I've picked up and want to show you, especially I have some projects I need and want to do and so I need to show the items so then I can do the, the projects with them. And once I am doing the projects, I do hope to also film those as some craft videos. So you can see those here up in the upcoming, hopefully near future. So let me go ahead and get started because I have a lot. First, I'm going to show you this bucket of stuff. I have a lot going on in here because this is one of the projects that I plan to make here and hopefully the near future. I guess it's not a rush because it's for when I do my summer decor with pineapples and flamingos, but I'm really excited to make it. So it's been like sitting in front of me. Got big old palm leaves. So I bought these ferns. I was looking for palm leaves and in my Target video I did show some palms that I bought and it's for this project, maybe the other one I'm doing with some of the similar projects because the palm leaves are harder to find. But I did think that these would look tropical enough in the um, project that I'm going to be making with this. So I have these ferns, which are beautiful. I found these leaves too, also when I was kind of digging through the foliage at Dollar Tree. And that's what these say are greenery bouquet. It's in here somewhere, greenery bouquet. And they're, they look very palmy to me. They got kind of the cutouts that a palm leaf would. I think if you put it with the right things, it's going to look like a palm leaf. So it's going to probably work really well for this project. And after I found those, I found a handful of these. And I do have a whole other bag down here that just has quite a few of these that I purchased. And I like these because they're more of a plasticky feeling versus like the fabric-y feeling of these other leaves. This one just says fern. And it has the height that I'm kind of hoping for with this project. Um, it's going to be an outdoor item. And so that's why I kind of like this plastic part to it. But I found quite a few of these. Like I said, I have a whole bag kind of down here too that has more. Um, for this one too, I have a pink flamingo. And I did purchase quite a few pink flamingos. I was watching for these and watching and watching. I saw them pop up on their website and then I watched some more to find the pink flamingos in store. And I was so excited when I did because, you know, you kind of get worried that you saw something the year before, but then it never comes out again. So I was so glad that the pink flamingos came out this year. And I have at least three different projects 
that like, kind of craft things that I'm going to be making with pink flamingos. Uh, one is this. So I have these planters as well. I have actually honestly picked up another color of this teal and it went, I think it was two more greens because I couldn't decide what color I wanted to do as my base. Two planters equal one base and I want to make two things. I don't know what to call them yet. So come back to one of my channels or one of my videos and then I will be able to show you what I'm actually making with these. But I do have some more of these that just haven't made it to this spot yet for that. And then wooden dowels which are going to be the flamingo's legs in this particular project. So that is all that. Just to go along with it, I have a bag of pink flamingos and the, the ferns all right here as well. So like I said, I have three projects right now that I'm planning. This is going to be like a planter, to I don't know if a topiary is the right word for it. I'm also going to make ring toss for the kids to play outside using the flamingos uh, just because I'm talking about it. I bought this horseshoe game but I bought it for the rings to do ring toss with the flamingos. I'll probably spray paint them a different color because I feel like red and blue just doesn't match the pink flamingo but I bought this particularly for the rings um, and then I'm going to make a wreath for my front door and I plan to use palm leaves and a flamingo and a wreath form from the Dollar Tree for that project. So all those will be coming up and I'll be hauling the rest of the items kind of as I go. Now for some more summer stuff, I found these solar lights in flamingos and pineapples. I will be so honest that I did buy these last year and they just never got put anywhere and then they stayed out through the winter and just got destroyed. Uh, they're not like great quality for solar lights, but they are adorable and they'll do what they need to do if you, you know, take care of them and make sure that you're not just leaving them out in the weather. And so these will be part of our backyard patio decora decorating and I obviously love them because they're flamingos and pineapples. I do not need any more water bottles at all. I don't. And I tried to walk past both of these numerous times and eventually I couldn't do it anymore and I picked them both up in two different stores because I decided to choose between them and I grabbed one which was Party Like a Pineapple in pink which is my favorite color and then I was in a different store looking around and I came across the palm tree one in a, with a teal lid uh, again after multiple times and I mean it was it was just meant to be it kept telling me I needed to buy it so I don't need any water bottles if you ask my husband I have a problem with bags and water bottles but I had to have these two for the summer so here they are I need to make sure to wash them just use them make it worth having in my space but I just love them because they're so cute Now we have these going around in stores and at first I just looked at them and thought they were adorable but I walked past and then I walked past them again and a couple other times and then I decided that I just really like them. When I purchased these two I didn't know why and then I realized that with one of the flamingo projects I want to make is ring toss with those flamingos and I thought this would just make such a cute base for ring toss. So I will fill the bottom up with probably rocks. Uh, my husband can get some cement mix and maybe I'll do some cement just to make it a heavy base. Stick the flamingos in there, fluff them up a little bit, and then they'll be a nice like holder for those flamingos for ring toss and they'll be nice and sturdy. So that's what these are, are going to be or two pinks or two teals or just the two colors. But either way, I just thought that they were so cute and I mean, there's obviously something you can do with them. They kind of look like the red Solo Cups, but I got the teal and the pink because the red Solo Cup thing doesn't really do much for me, but these were so cute. I got this Summer Party Banner. This one has a watermelon, a pail with some sand and an ice cream cone. And the reason I got this is because at the beginning of every summer, I do something special for the kids. Last year, we had a whole luau where I decorated the whole house while they were sleeping. And I made it just very Hawaiian themed. We were supposed to go to Hawaii last summer in July, and it obviously got postponed because of 2020. And so um, I just decided to bring Hawaii here. And so we had a really fun 
family luau. We barbecued, wore grass skirts and lays, and just had a really good time with it. And I assume we'll probably have another luau sometime this summer just for fun. But for this one, I bought the kids a bunch of summer games to play outside, like outdoor summer games. That's where the flamingo ring toss comes in. And I got a bunch of them from Five Below. And that will probably be the next haul that I show because I need to get them all put away. I want to start wrapping them, getting them ready to give to the kids at the end of the school year. So I was going to use this banner, maybe do like kind of just a summer theme, not necessarily Hawaiian or luau, but do like watermelons or something like that just for the fun summer start but I was gonna put up the summer party banner when I do that. So keep an eye out for that because I plan to put some of that in my YouTube as well, putting that together. I grabbed this one because it's a pineapple, a flamingo, and just some other just fun summer decor. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with it. I just thought it was really cute, so I picked it up. I did purchase this outdoor flag. It says, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons and I thought it was too darn cute and I purchased the wire flag holder to go with it as well I'm not sure if it'll go in our front yard if it'll go in our backyard I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it yet but I decided that I just needed one of these little flags I also purchased a patriotic one which I will show here in just a few minutes and I thought how fun because they're interchangeable and I like to decorate for all the different holidays or seasons and that's just a really fun way to do it I got both of these solar little guys, the Flamingo and the Hula Girl. I do a tier trade in my kitchen and so, well, on my dining room table. And I thought that these were just a good size to go on the tier tray. We do have another Hula Girl that hangs out in our kitchen window. And she sure is noisy during the day when she gets going, when the sun's shining on her and helping her Hula. But I thought these would just be really cute on a tier tray. Um, speaking of pineapples and my love, I did purchase these two trays that I saw going around. They have multiple colors. I think they had green, blue, white, like a white iridescent, pink and yellow. And that's all I can recall seeing. Um, I don't have a purpose for these technically, but they might just sit on my table when I put out my summer tablecloth and just kind of be decoration that way or when we have just dinners and stuff they can just be a side plate and just be pineapples because they're adorable and who doesn't like to have a really shiny pretty pineapple plate with dinner I got these I call them ice cream cups because I just picture ice cream sundaes in them or uh, they could be I was also kind of thinking of grabbing a few more I like oatmeal sometimes in the morning and doing kind of oatmeal cups with them just kind of as a fun little little treat bowl that's also easy to just throw away and not have to give me more dishes these will probably go with the summer party theme because they have the fruit and stuff on them so depending on what food we put together with the summer party theme this would go really well with that i did pick up these plates which they have multiple of this really pretty kind of gold and it has a pink top to it for some reason it reminds me of rose gold but it's not because it's definitely gold with the pink but i think the pink it always gives me rose gold vibes um, only eight plates come in this but they're really cute so we'll find a time to use them and these don't necessarily match and I do remember seeing these last year but I really like it it says tropical vibes only and they have the palm leaves and they're pink which is my favorite color so they were really cute and I just thought why not have them around for the summer we use a lot of napkins we have three kids and they're a hot mess so it doesn't hurt to have them I got these two trinket trays. I got the watermelon and the pineapple, which really matches that plate very well now that I notice. I think it was last year they had a pink flamingo one with the gold rim around it, and I have that up in my bathroom. So I thought these would just really look nice with it. I don't know if they'll all go in my bathroom or if I'll find different places for them, but like I've mentioned, I don't know, probably a thousand times. Pineapples and flamingos are my favorite. Pink is my favorite color, so I loved the the way the watermelon looked as well. And so I just felt like I had to have them. There's real no purpose other than they're pretty. And if you don't buy them when you see them, they just kind of disappear. Um, so now also talking about the outside patio, I bought a bunch of these plates. These ones are the flamingo ones with the palm leaves. I figured these would be so great because we like to barbecue 
We like to eat on the backyard uh, table. These aren't paper plates. I like to do paper plates out there because it's just easy cleanup. However, they like to blow away if there's any kind of wind or anything, and so it just becomes a big mess. So I figured we just have these as our outdoor plates. Uh, I got five initially because there's five members of our family, but my husband hates odd numbers. He's got this weird thing about that, so I had to go back and buy one more to make it an even six. And if we have one guest, they have a plate, I guess. So we have six of these ones. And I also, for us at home, I bought the, the pineapple ones as well. So if we eat out two nights in a row when I happen to not wash dishes quick enough, we have these to use as well. So they have the pineapple, the lemons, kiwis, which are adorable, hibiscus flower, just super cute. So we have both of those as options. They are hand wash only, not recommended for microwave or dishwasher. You just have to be really mindful with them. Know you're going to be doing dishes after the fact, but it'll look so nice when we're outside eating. And then I also picked up just two extra of these plates, really for the idea in mind that if we have anybody over to eat and we don't want to pull out paper plates, we have these reusable ones to use and there'll be enough plates to go go around to everybody. And it does, these match both sets. So it was just nice to be able to match them both and have those as an option. So my husband and I are also making a little to-go grill kit. We've done it a couple times where we have gone to the park and taken a little mini grill. The kids were able to play at the park while we grilled. We sat at the picnic tables at the park and had lunch or dinner, kind of depending on the day and when we went. So looking at the plates that I got for the home, these ones I thought would be really cute to go in a little kit like that. We usually take paper plates just because of being easy. But again, they we've had some gusts of wind when we're there. We're chasing down plates. We're losing food on the ground. And these are just heavier and sturdier. So it does cause me to have to do a few more dishes. But for the fun of eating in the park and not chasing your food, it's worth it. So we got these for that. And along the same line, I have mentioned that we have a boat. And I can't wait to go out on the boat. And we're going to do a similar thing for the boat. We're going to have stuff ready to be able to eat lunch while we're out on the lake because well we'll be out on the lake all day and so I bought the fish ones to put on the boat because you know boating fishing it just makes sense again we've had lunch there we've had paper plates and the wind has picked up and taken our plates and a lot of times our food along with it and right when you're there you're in the lake Usually we dock on the side, but we eat on the boat, and I don't want to be responsible for getting paper plates into the lakes. So I thought this would be a great idea. They're heavy, they're sturdy, they're not going to blow away. So we got this for the boat. And I have a lot of friends, and a lot of friends that want to join us on the boats. So I also picked up two extras, just in case. I did get eight of the fish ones, but we have a family of five with us, and so we just need to have more and extra. So we got eight extra just blue ones that we can take along with us if we're bringing more people with us out to the lakes. Um, for the same purpose, I picked up these little reusable cups for the kids. A lot of times we have like juice boxes or Capri Suns, but if we're doing anything that needs a cup to be drank out of, I thought these would be really nice. Same reason, paper cup cups are not as sturdy. They will blow away. Not to mention all these are just better for the environment because we're not like adding to the landfill where we're reusing and being able to wash and everything. But just for the heaviness and the sturdiness, I thought these would be really fun to also pack in our um, lake box bag, however we do it when we go. And to just go along with the summer stuff, I got these towels. I got the pineapple one, matches the pineapple plates, the flamingo that says tropical life on the top and just the double flamingo so they kind of go together. I do always do some sort of decorative towel on the stove that my husband always wants to use to clean the kitchen or wipe his hands and so it's an ongoing fight because we don't actually fight about it but he always wants to use my decorative towels so there, there those are. At least these ones are only a dollar so they're not going to get too messed up if he decides to dry off his hands or, or use them to clean up. So that's what I have for summer stuff. I will move on now to my patriotic stuff. So I love to decorate my house for the holidays and the seasons, as I've mentioned. And I always kind of have this hard time between Easter and when I could put out my summer stuff. 
in all honesty, I could put my summer stuff out in March and I would be happy because I love flamingos and pineapples. But um, I don't want to have them out for that long a time anyway. And it just would make sense to do something else. I have a hair. Sorry about that. So I was talking to my husband. He is very, very into the American flag, into being an American, patri patri being pa patriotic. He's very patriotic. So we talked about between basically Memorial Day and 4th of July that we could do kind of a red, white, and blue theme. And that really hits who he is as a person. And so I thought that that would be really fun to do. So I have been picking up because I've not done that as a big theme in my house. So I don't have like a, a tote full of red, white, and blue stuff. So I've been picking up more because there's cute stuff out and I'm going to be doing it for a little bit longer time. I will be decorating for that here in the next probably week or so and I would probably do a decorate with me or at least a show of everything that I've done to decorate once I kind of get that up and going. So keep an eye out for that. And to go with that then I got the um, little flag like the flamingo one but this is the ice cream and popsicle one and it's super cute it says stars stripes and summer nights and it's got just the ice cream and bomb pop which my husband just loves the bomb pop and the idea of the bomb pop and so we're going to put that on the little flag holder outside i do have a little white christmas tree that is up year round and it's little it's just like the small tabletop it's on a table so tabletop tree and I keep it out year round and I, that's what I kind of use to help decorate for the different seasons. So I got these couple of flags. I thought that they'd look nice on the tree and potentially somewhere else, but I just really like the, the stars and stripes. I thought they were really cute. I got three of these for tabletop decor. I have a couple areas that use tabletop decor. So I thought that these would be really nice to put on there. Um, just really cute and they're I mean, they feel thick and sturdy, and I just, I really like them a lot. Uh, I got this new sign. I don't think I have it from last year. I know I have a few things from last year I have to find, but I got this one. It says, Bold Stripes, Bright Stars, and Brave Hearts. I thought that would be nice hanging somewhere. I did get this garland. Uh, I got this one probably to put around the Christmas tree or the, the holiday tree because it's just got the really nice colors that'll pop out the blue and red because the tree is white so the white will kind of blend in but it'll pop that blue and red. I also though bought a handful of more of these. I am going to make a wreath for the front door. I've never made one. Well, I've never made a wreath but I don't have a 4th of July wreath and I like to get wreaths also for the front door that correspond with what we're doing for our decor. So this one I think is for the tree, but I did get one for to make a wreath for the front door. I got two of these scarves. They are the ice cream ones that go with that flag. So they have the bomb pop, the ice cream cone, popsicles. Super cute. A little flag pick on the top of that ice cream cone. That is just so cute. So I get these. I get scarves for my little tree, my holiday tree. I use them as the tree skirt on the bottom. I wrap them around. I can do one, but it just looks a lot fuller when I do two and wrap the scarves around the tree. So that was the reason I got these. I did honestly pick up a couple more, which I'll probably show in another haul because those are still in my car. Uh, so I got the couple more for table runners. I think that they're a good length and probably a good width to be table runners on some of the furniture I have throughout my house. And then I picked up these I got two two different ones I got the stars and the USA I like it that the red and the red and the blue and the blue are opposite I don't know where I'm putting them yet but I really really like them um, I might take them apart use the different pieces for something when I make my wreath they might come and be little parts of my wreath I haven't decided yet exactly what they're for but they were too cute and I knew that I was getting just decor for this particular type of holidays or set of holidays and I'm keeping these in the bag because the fallout of these are terrible I guess I'll pull one out so I got these picks they are a hot mess everything around me is covered in glitter these are so beautiful I got them in red white and blue and I got two of each and I have two different ideas of what I'm going to do with them I'm either going to I have some vases that I put flowers in 
to go with whatever my theme is or something like flowers or you know something so I was thinking of these in the vase or I can stick them in my holiday tree just as picks sticking out or maybe ooh, maybe on the top like the topper of that tree because they kind of remind me of maybe fireworks so I haven't decided but I thought that they were beautiful and I, they will they will end up somewhere when I decorate because they are just too pretty but they are very very glittery Lastly, for the patriotic stuff, I got these trays. It comes with six of them. That's basically one meal for my family, but they are the flag, the red, white, and blue. I thought they were so cute. They would just be so good if you're doing like a burger and chips or something like that for a dinner. And like I said, we eat outside all the time. And then I got the flags, napkins, the napkin flags. To go along with it, you get 18 of the napkins, so a nice amount of those, six trays. Quite honestly, when I go back, if I find more trays, knowing that there's only six, I might pick a couple more up because they are just, they're just really cute and a fun way to use the red, white, and blue when you're having your lunch or dinner. And now I just kind of have some other random stuff to show. I have glitter everywhere. I am these were just a lucky find. I've seen several people haul them and not everyone can find them. And I just happened to be walking through the cosmetic department and there was, I was along the bottom and there was probably about 10 of them in there. And I honestly didn't think I was ever gonna find them, but I was really excited. So I picked up two. Really, I buy my eyelash curlers from the Dollar Tree and when the little soft part, the, the little kind of rubbery part gets, a cut in it or it just kind of gets old I throw it away just pick up a new pair of eyelash curlers from the Dollar Tree so I thought what a killer deal this is because I get the eyelash curler that I replace anyway plus the little brushes and some tweezers the little mirror and I'm the blue bag which I think is funny because I don't think the blue bag matches at all but rose gold is one of my favorites so it was really fun to get the rose gold set and I was really excited about that and to go along with cosmetics, again, I was just walking around the Dollar Tree, walking on the cosmetic aisle, and I was super shocked to find these big palettes of eyeshadow. My eyes usually consist of a pink eyeshadow, a white eyeshadow, a pink eyeshadow, and a purple eyeshadow. So I thought these were perfect. This one is Feeling Moavi. This one is Glitter Vibes. And this has some purples and some whites and some glitter. I'm very curious how well that glitter shows up if you try to put it on your eyes, so I'll have to give it a try one of these times. And then this is just so many beautiful mauves, and I feel like looking at this palette that I would probably use all those colors just depending on what I'm doing my makeup for. So I thought they were beautiful. So I picked up one of each. I started walking away, and I just sat there, and I sat there, and I ultimately went back, so I ended up with two of each. The problem is, is if you decide you absolutely love them and you don't buy them, you'll never see them again because to be honest, I saw these that one time and I haven't seen them since. And if you decide you love them, then they're gone forever. So I just thought it doesn't hurt to have two if I decide I love them. And then if they just don't turn out to be my colors, it doesn't hurt to have an extra to give as a gift. So I did pick up the extra. I picked up this coconut infused exfoliating bath mitt that's been showing in the Mother's Day item, so I don't know if it's gonna stay around longer than the Mother's Day items that are out, but I love coconut. And I have one of their bath gloves, the exfoliating uh, glove that you put on. So I thought I'd probably really like this one. The glove always gets stuck on my ring because I do one hand, do half my body, I switch it to the other hand, do the other half of my body to exfoliate, but it always gets stuck on my ring because it's pretty tight. So I thought this might be easier because it doesn't have like the finger holes. And I love the smell of coconut. So I am excited to try this one out. I did get for my pets, I have two Shih Tzus. They are adorable. Gertrude and Ethel are their names. And I also have a hedgehog as a pet. I guess my son has a hedgehog as a pet. And sadly, my hedgehog is, I think, on the end of her lifespan. Hedgehogs typically only live like five to six years with my research. And she's about that old and you could just tell that her health is declining she used to run on her wheel she used to be litter box trained and now she's just 
kind of not. She just kind of uses the bathroom wherever. And they love fleece because they burrow, they're nocturnal. So she burrows in fleece blankets through the day. She comes out at night, eats and does that kind of thing. But because of her age and her no longer being able to be potty trained, she just kind of uses the bathroom wherever. So we find ourselves washing her blankets a lot more or at least changing them a lot more. And sometimes they just get so gross that I don't like to put them in my washing machine. So I've been throwing them away just because they get really gross. And I have found these fleece blankets at the Dollar Tree and they just seem to be perfect. They fit the bottom of our cage just right for a bottom layer of fleece. Uh, you get a couple of them and you kind of put them in the, the section where she burrows into them and she's able to burrow into them and use them as her little like hidey spot. So a dollar each is just such a really good deal for that. And I don't feel as bad throwing them away when they're just gross and covered in stuff. So I've been picking these up whenever I see them. Right now she has dinosaurs, because that's what I found at one of the stores, and rainbows. So she's kind of mismatched, but we're going to be cleaning out her cage here really soon. So I got some rainbow ones for her. These, I know, have been tricky. Not a lot of people can find them, but I found them, and I only picked up one because I have a purpose for it. I wanted to pick up a lot more, but I... Don't, I try not to buy too much if I don't have a purpose. So I'm going to use this for my dog treats for my pups. I think I'm going to cricket it, put their names on it, just make it kind of fun or treats or something for my doggos. I have them in a jar right now, but the lid, I, it's a jar from Dollar Tree, but the lid is just kind of sticky and tricky and it doesn't like to stay on the right track. And so it, it gets really annoying. So I got this because I just thought, one, it's cute. It's a candy jar and treats for the pups and I can cricket it. So I picked up one. I've gotten a couple more ideas since, so if I run into them again, I might grab a couple more. But for now, I did get the one that I wanted for the purpose. And I got these also for the pups. I got four of them. I have two dogs, and it's for when I want to separate what they're eating, because they do share a dog bowl and they're fine with it, but every so often you want to make sure that they're getting something. So I separate them out, and these are just the right size. They say cat bowls, but they're Shih Tzus. So actually my little Ethel, Ethel is uh, probably smaller than your typical cat because she's so little. So they're perfect to separate their food. I can make sure each of them are eating what I'm trying to give to them. So I got a pink, a purple, a teal, and then I got another pink. They had a dark navy blue, but I didn't like that. I didn't think it was girly enough for my princesses. So I got the four of those for my dogs. Uh, I picked up this Scents. Sure Scents Hawaiian Air Freshener Crystal Beads. I honestly am not one that's big on air fresheners. Smells get really strong to me. I have a hard time having a lot of smells. But my home gym is in my basement and my basement houses our water softener, our hot water heater, and right now some gifts that are being hidden for the kiddos for birthdays, one of which has two wheels and smells like rubber. So right now there is quite a smell in my basement. It's really rubbery smell from the, the wheels. So I got this to put down in my basement to hopefully get rid of some of just the kind of random smells or kind of help disperse a Hawaiian scent. And surprise, surprise, my, my decorating, my theme that I decorated down there is tropical. So it has palm leaves, flamingos, and pineapples. So I thought, why not when I go into my tropical gym, it can smell Hawaiian as well. So I don't know how they smell. Actually, it smells really good and not too strong. So hopefully this will help with some of the scents down there and help just, I don't want a strong smell, but I don't want the smell of rubber either. I picked up these solar lights. I did pick them up because on the side of our house is where we house our trash bins. And thankfully, as the days get longer, you're not as likely to go out to the trash bins when it's dark out. But when it's dark out, the side of the house is really, really dark. So I was hoping that these would help light up the trash bins a little bit. It's the chore of two of our kiddos to take the trash and recycles out and they hate doing it in the dark. And so if they forget throughout the day and they need to do it before bed, you get a little bit more pushback because of how dark it is. So my thought is, is these will help illuminate that side of the house and make it a little less scary to go out there. I picked up this little easel and I did this for a project in mind. I need to do teacher gifts for my kiddos teachers and I know I'm missing teacher appreciation week which ended today actually but I have until the end of the year to just give a thank you gift I, is kind of my thoughts on it. And so my son's teacher has team 
as like kind of the, the classroom theme is all about teamwork, team stuff. I did pick up some of those helmets that have been going around Dollar Tree. I do have them probably for my next haul. She is a fan, according to my son, uh, of all the Colorado teams. So I got a Broncos, a CU, and a CSU because I don't know what her favorite team is, but I figured why not grab one of each because they're only a dollar and they're really cool. So I did that for the team theme. And this I'm going to Cricut. And my thought is I'm going to do team down the side and I'm going to, you know, T is for something teamy, E is for A is or and M is for something like that on here. So it's got the ESOL little display. She would be able to just kind of leave it on her desk or wherever she wants. So I was going to do that as part of her teacher gift. And now my last few items I have. One of my kiddos is having a birthday at the end of the month of May. So I've been working on planning his birthday. He wants a pirate themed party. So I've been working on picking up some pirate themed stuff. And to go with his theme, I found these wall hangings at the Dollar Tree, which is perfect timing because I know that they're brand new. They didn't have these ones before. So this one has the pirate ship, the cannon. It says yo ho ho, a hook, the palm tree, pirate island, some swords, just perfect. It's absolutely perfect for a pirate themed party. And then this one, which is also new and I hadn't seen before, just has some of the marine life, the sea life. And so what I do for all the kids, what I started last year, I think I started it last year because we weren't able to have the big same birthday parties that I've always thrown for them with 2020, is I get the trifold boards at the Dollar Tree and I've been making just a happy birthday sign for each of the kids to kind of go with the theme of whatever their birthday is. So Eric, who's turning seven this year, last year when he turned six, we had a fishing party. And so I did a whole fishing theme happy birthday board for him. And so this year it's going to be a pirate theme board. And though we are kind of having a little get together for him, it's nothing as huge as some of the other parties we've had. And this can just kind of be part of the decor that I put out there for him. So I got those for that. I got this. Just as a gift for him, he loves boats. I mean, if you picked up on the fishing theme last year, the pirate theme this year, he loves boats. His room is decorated for the Titanic because his current obsession is the Titanic. So he got him this little boat to be able to play with and figured when we go on the boat to the lake or when he takes a bath, he can play with that. And then these, I was just strolling through the toys and came across this three-piece set. They're called Vacation. They're made by Greenbrier, so they are a Dollar Tree brand of the cars, but I thought they were so cute. This one comes with a raft and the van, and the van says holiday with some palm trees and a sun. This one is a little camper trailer, and it's got the little extra piece just kind of bringing its vacation. And this is the one that really got me. It's a blue truck with a boat on it, and it's got the trailer that has like other people on boats on it his favorite color is blue and he loves boats so this is what really pulled me in and he i thought he had to have it so then i got him the whole set so that's just one of his gifts from us for his birthday and that is all i have for right now sorry this is such a long video i think i did a lot better at saying um but i'll know when i watch it back again here in a little bit so Please subscribe, like my videos, join my YouTube adventure that I'm working on. I hope you enjoy everything that, seeing everything I picked up, and I hope you're able to find whatever you're looking for as well at the Dollar Tree. Comment, let me know that you like my videos, let me know if this one is way too long, and that's what I got for now. I will see you next time.